Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me today. So today is a haul video. It's kind of a multi-haul. I think there's Primark, Boot, um, Wilco and I can't remember if I shopped anywhere else. If when going through things I know that I've shopped elsewhere, I'll let you know. Um, but we'll go through the Wilco bag first of all. So, I did some damage in Wilco. Um, I don't know if you know, but the last few months I've been having serious nail problems just on my hands and they become really dry and really brittle. And I spoke to my doctor and she said, you do have really dry hands. Um, I'll um, give you some emollient for them, some like moisturiser, but I thought she'd forgotten. I've not picked up a moisturiser, I just said, well, will hand cream do? Anyway, um, I went to the pharmacist today. I picked up my prescription from today. That's a whole other issue. I'm doing a video probably on Monday when I get my new glasses. I'll talk about it in that video. It will be like a health video, so we'll, we'll talk about it then. Because I've got quite a lot to fill you in on, guys. But anyway, um, let's talk about this now. So, she prescribed me this. And I've had something like this before. But it came in a little, little container. So I'm really, really glad to be having it. I mean, that is massive, isn't it? So it's Cetraben. Um, it's SLS and paraben free. Um, it just says for problematic, dry, sensitive or eczema prone skin. So I feel like that'll do me really really good let's i mean i don't know how to open it okay do you get this thing off why did they put these things on evident color that's what it's called how do you break it my mum would know how to do this oh wait why is this so hot oh. <laughs> that should not be that hard to do right so we just want to test it out which doesn't seem to want to come out oh Right, so I've just got a little bit on the hand. Really just going to do it for the hands because it's my nails that are the worst. I'll do it up my arms as well. Yeah, it's definitely the same stuff that I had a while back. Can't remember what I bought it for, but it was expensive. Okay, so this. It's 500 grams, so again, that's what I got from the doctor. And I need a drink already. I filmed a different video prior to this one. With this eye look here. Um, so today's video, this haul, isn't going to be long. Well, I hope not anyway, because I'll have to edit it. Right, so we'll go then. Now, because I've got all these nail problems, I wanted to get some things for my nails. Didn't expect to be spending nearly £13 on it all, though, guys. To be fair, I did pick up a nail polish, but I think that was about £2. Um, right, so let me show you for the nails what I got first of all. Oh, I got something else. That's a makeup product, so it wasn't all for the nails. Right, so I put this on already today. It's the... Essence, just says essence there, um, with argan oil, essence repair, nail oil, and it nourishes the nail and cuticle area. That one just says repairing nail oil for the regeneration of stressed nails helps to restore a healthy nail surface and cuticles. So I thought that was really, really good. I think they were only like £2 or maybe £2.50 each, and you do get eight mils or 0.27 fluid ounces quite good um then i wanted to pick this one up essence anti-split base coat i wanted to pick this essence anti-split base coat up um again it's got the e on it there and this one says it's a sealing base coat for perfectly groomed nail tips protects against chipping and breaking now my nail polish is always breaking so i thought i would try that rather than my primark one um, and then I got this. I saw um, Palette's Pals Perfume and Panning. She was telling us how to do gel nails. And she uses a Catrice one. Now Catrice, I can get it off just my look. But they didn't have the product. So this one is the Essence Nail Art Express Dry Drops with Curing Almond Oil. And it 
it says it dries nail polish within seconds so the idea is you put a couple of drops on your nail polish when it's wet what does it say quick drying drops uh, quick drying drops with curing almond oil vitamin E dries nail polish within seconds and um, apply one to two drops on your freshly painted nails hope that doesn't smudge it but yeah we'll see what it does um, I think that's why you have to do it when the nail polish is wet otherwise it would smudge but yeah that's that and then because my nails are so dry um, my nail polish remover isn't going to cut it it's just going to make my nails worse so I don't want to be looking after them and then treating them and then taking my nail polish off with a really bad nail polish remover so I got this Cutex one it was on sale in Wilco not by much, I think by about 50p. So this one is, it's got botanical oils in it. It says Cutex Care since 1911. Um, it's nourishing, helps promote healthy nails, which at the moment I do need because my nails have just stopped growing and they're very brittle and break easy. I think that's all I got in regards to my nails, but that's enough. Um, I've never looked after my nails. I've never looked after my nails as much as I'm having to do now. Um, so then, got this. I've never seen these before. So this is the Essence Hydro Hero Under Eye Stick. Deeply hydrating and caring. Now I need something like this because my under eye area gets so... It gets like a little crepey when I wear a thicker concealer. That's why I'm always wearing quite thin ones. Um, but I just thought if I put this on first and then put my concealer over the top, I'll show you what it looks like. And I think this was like £2.20. Um, can't get into it. Oh, right, so that just looks like that. Um, and it's like purple, and that's what hydrates you. It, it doesn't hydrate you know, right from the start. You really have to like rub your finger in it and then it becomes hydrating. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm going to be pulling that in this week's, in the next shot my stash, sorry. So I feel like I'm going to pull that in the next shot my stash. <clears throat> so that's that. And then I saw this um, by Body Collection and it's a really pretty colour. It's um, vegan. It's 70% plant based. Um, like I said, it's from Body Collection and it's in the shade Spearmint. Real, real pretty. So, so I've got a feeling I want to paint my nails tonight. Um, and this one is 9mm. So let's pop all these back. Right, and I am, um, I don't know if you know, but I am quite spiritual in the fact that I really like crystals. And I saw a couple of necklaces I wanted to get. Um, which really, I should tell you what they do. Let me go into... Let me just go on to Psychic Tree because that's where I got them from. Don't need to log in, I can just type in what I got. So let me just... So, I got a Selenite Stone. Um, and these are really, really pretty necklaces, guys. So that's what that looks like. My my only issue with this is I got the, like, necklace too long. Um, so I'll know for next time when I order another one. Um, but yeah, I got the necklace too long. Um, you could either get it at 40 to 45 centimetres, which is what I should have got. Or you could have got, like, the 60 centimetre, which I got, and it's quite big. I don't really like it that big. But I'm just going to read you... I'll show you the product. So they come in these beautiful, like, organza bags. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to put this one on. This one, I'm sure, is for anxiety, and I have got that plenty. Um, and that's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Can you see it? That stone is absolutely stunning. Um, so, yeah, let's put it on and then I'll read its claims. Right, so it goes to about here. I don't think you're going to see it. At the end of the video, I'll lower the camera so you can see it. I mean, it's, it's long, um, but I mean... That's the shortest it can be on this chain that I've got. So, description. These beautiful necklaces make a great gift for yourself or a loved one. Each necklace contains a polished tumble stone healing crystal contained in a spiral cage to wear and feel the benefits all day long. This necklace contains selenite, named after the Greek goddess of the moon. Selen. Selenite crystals are white in colour and have many healing and mystical properties. It is a crystallised form of gypsum. 
which is used for good luck and protection. The powerful vibration of selenite can clear, open and activate the crown and higher chakras and is excellent for all types of spiritual work. Selenite can also be used to strengthen the memory. I need that so much at the moment. I'm forgetting things that I shouldn't be forgetting, like appointments and things. Um, so then it goes on to say you can choose from four types of chain, black braided cord necklace with lobster clasp in either 40 to 45 centimetre or 60 centimetre with each one being approximately 2 millimetre in width. Snake chain has a lobster clasp and is silver plated stainless steel and is at 18 inches. I should have got the snake chain um, but I'll be, getting, I'll be getting more of these crystals so I'll get them then. Um, and I think that's it um, and then obviously I got this other one which is a name I can't pronounce Leopardolite I think it's called but the other one looks like that real real pretty as well <coughs> same length of chain they do amethyst which is my birthstone but I don't really like amethyst so that doesn't look the same as what I've ordered that looks m more purple and that's got more red in it Hmm, I don't know. It says Lepidolite is a stone of peace and tranquility. It helps to combat all oh, this one's for anxiety and the best crystal for soothing the mind and helping to find your centre again. This stone is a beautiful lilac. Yeah, this one is lilac. So maybe I should change them over. Lilac slash pink colour. So obviously you can get it in lilac or pink. Um, just depends on the stones I guess and we'll put a smile on your face excellent at dealing with the stresses that come from the fast paced world we live in let's see I feel like for anxiety and stresses I should be wearing that yeah I'm going to put that one on we'll do this one another day so this one is is more to keep you calm and I feel pretty calm at the moment so from the psychic tree guys it's in the UK do everything on there but these necklaces are 3 99 each and let's put this one on I can't get it on now story of my life okay showed you the other necklaces well the other necklace um and then I've got this boots bag here so, so we'll go through the items I got from boots it's just hair products really um and then I got a couple of things from Primark so, Out. Oh, there was a couple of things in makeup that I got from Boots as well. I'm going to talk about the hair products first because one of the one of the products for makeup I got about a week ago. Umberto Gianni does a lot of hair for curly girls, so we've got Umberto Gianni Gianni No More Frizz Anti Frizz Curl Serum Instantly Tames and Shines. So that just looks like that and guys tell me about that I just heard the camera shut off so I was saying more for me because obviously my hair is very very thick um thicker than I would like it ever since I had my hair cut but yeah I got that I think it's normally about eight pound I paid just over five pound for it so yeah I've got that that should last me a while and then I saw this first actually this is the Umberto Gianni curl jelly refresh curl reviving spray Revive and restore bounce texture and shine to flat lacklustre curls, bringing them to life between washes. It's 150 ml, it's 5 US fluid ounces and I thought this was good when you shower, wash your hair. Um, like for personally, so if you've got naturally curly hair like me, you don't wash it every day, it, it just ruins it. So you're supposed to like go for a few washes without washing it. Um, so I thought this would be good for it my in between and washing my hair and I thought this would be good for that it does say um are your next day curls feeling flat and lifeless do you always feel like that because you sleep on them I try and sleep with my hair to the side like that but I always end up flattening it out um and it says restore the bounce and shine from day two and beyond with curl jelly refresh this curl reviving spray is your new time saving hero giving your curls a boost to allow you to delay wash day a little longer with nourishing castor and lavender oils um, and it just says how to to refresh your curls between washes evenly over dryer scrunch through curls and style as usual do not rinse out 
yeah um i thought i'd give them to a shot i hope they work because they weren't exactly cheap um more expensive than i would like to have shelled out on hair products but because i'm wearing my hair naturally curly now all the time and i'm not straightening there it's going to cost me more money but it should be worth it in the long run um so that's those and then there's just two makeup products so i'll show you what i got last week i saw this um and i was looking at so many different bougie blushes from dior um but the uh, benefit butterfly one i was looking at that but i'm just thinking 27 pound the dior one was 36 pound and then i came across this one this one was eight pound and this is the XX Revolution in the shade Retro. Um, it's really, really pretty, really pigmented. I've done a short on this. Um, so it just comes in packaging like that. It's like the highlighters, they come in packaging like that. But the highlighters have slightly more product. Um, and then that is the shade, a beautiful bright orange. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on the finger. And then let's do a little swatchy swatchy. Well, that's it there as well. Yeah, I really do like that. And then, oh, oh I do have some Primark things to show you, don't I, as well? I forgot. Um, and then I bought this as well. I'm still planning on doing that 17. Get ready with me when I've got enough 17 products. I'm kind of just buying one at a time. There's no rush for me to do the video. But I'm running out of concealers. So i got this one so this is the lightest one that they do because um so i do like the look of the brightening guys so this one is 17 second skin um what does it say enhancing concealer which perfectly masks imperfections and blends seamlessly concealer here that's the doe foot i would prefer the doe foot to be a little bit bigger than that it's in the shade 001n um so it is a lighter shade but they do quite a lot of other shades um i didn't look but maybe next time i look i should have a look for one for maybe cream bronzer and um, because they are really cheap i think they're about two pound so that's that and then i bought some clothes um now i wanted to get a top well i wanted to get a couple of t-shirts but there was like they weren't a good fit and they were see-through as well and then i came across this one this one is beautiful how much was it i think five pound yes yeah, so i got it in large because the xl was far too big so that's it though it's got like pastel butterflies all over it and this is what it looks like it is a little bit cropped but it doesn't rise up that much and then it's kind of got like it's just really really pretty and then i came across these and i couldn't not get them at the moment i've, I've got some stomach problems which i'm going to go into into a later video and wearing like elasticated band trousers or tracksuit trousers is really really helping me and i came across these and if you know me you'll you'll be like yeah they're so you um so anyway the disney ones primark have started doing disney tracksuit bottoms now so the pink these are a large as well um i think the extra large would have been too big i'm gonna try and fold them over so you can see them a bit better i folded them over the wrong way let's take the large sticker off i'll just put it down there okay right so the this is what they look like hoping you can see it he's got um Minnie Mouse's bow, a hands there, or they could be Mickey's, I think they might be Mickey's. And then it says Minnie Mouse there. So stinking pretty. And then they're just cuffed like all my other tracksuit bottoms that I get from Primark. I think they're really, really nice. They're really, really comfortable. Um, not feminine. Well, they are feminine in a way because they're pink. Um, but they're not dressy. But I don't really care about that. Especially when I'm filming and I want to sit down with you guys. I want to be comfortable. So a lot of the times you'll just see me in tracksuit bottoms. Or PJ bottoms. Um, but we're all friends here. Um, and this is it guys. This is the haul. I just wanted to jump on camera. I did say I wasn't going to do any more hauls. But I just felt that was kind of a multi-haul. So if I get multi-hauls in the future I'll do them. But I'm... If I'm only getting like bits and pieces, I'm not going to do them. I'll probably just say in my shop my stash video, oh, that's fairly new. I got that on such a date. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, somebody suggested, I think it was Naomi, she suggested maybe writing my purchases down for that month and then showing them in a video. I could potentially do that, but I have got so many video ideas, as well as the tutorials, as well as the rating my palettes, you know, I've got so many videos and there's only so many videos that I can actually film and upload and edit. Um, so. I think the whole videos weren't doing that well and I just decided to drop them from my channel altogether apart from like when I go to a few different stores and do multiple hauls like today for instance. I will film them and let you see what I got. I also got an acrylic organiser but that's already over there somewhere so you get to see that when I do my next shot my stash. In fact I might actually put a picture into the video so you can see it. I've already filled it up. It was the last one in Primark and I'm thinking if it's the last one I've been eyeing it up for a while now just buy it, buy it while you can. Um, so yeah guys this concludes the video, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, please like, share, comment and subscribe, it really does help me out and it would mean so much to me and I will see you in my next one, bye guys.